So I arrived here in San Francisco and um, for the H1 415 live hacking event. I had, I had a really good lunch with, uh, with Fisher. So we're in the Fisherman's Wharf having lunch. It's me, Andre and Fisher. Is Fisher your name? No. Uh, yeah, you can think about it. Yeah, it's, it's Fisher. Okay, because I'm not gonna say zero X A B C. O X A C B. Yeah. O X A C B. O X A C B. And Fisher. So this is Tech O X X O X A C B and Fisher. <laughs> and um, they have an option which is unlimited pancakes, and we were like, <laughs> why? Yeah, why would you want yeah. unlimited pancakes? Like, yeah, two are enough. If I mean, why not? <laughs> Exactly, that's the thing. That's Why the not? American thing. Why not? And uh, now we're gonna go. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and uh, hack a bit with those guys. It's gonna be epic. So you are officially invited for the ride. So let's go. Welcome. <laughs> hey guys. So this is the best place ever. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys psyched to hack some? Yes, let's get him! Oh, let's go, bro. Are you, are you hacking the, the TV? If the TV doesn't work, what do you do? Oh yeah, that's how it works. Okay, it works now. <laughs> so this is the glorious hacker life. Where we chill on beds yeah. <laughs> and hack in silence. But, <laughs> but this is what we do. So it's 4.20 in the morning and I can't, I can't sleep. I was, I was up for 24-7, just, I was up for 24 hours, I was up for 27 hours yesterday. I had to go up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to get over here. And of course I was deadly tired, <laughs> but I can still freaking sleep. I've been sleeping for, I don't know, seven hours? Uh, and yeah, and I know how this works. It's, it's gonna sort itself out in a short time, but right now I feel like eating a whole all-you-can-eat buffet. But there isn't anyone open, so water fast, I guess. Seems like we are having a bit of nice weather out today in sunny San Francisco. That's the thing. We're heading over to the Hacker One main office today to uh, get a tour. And after that, there's gonna be a couple of drinks at the drink place. You do Paris it? There's no button. There's oh. an elevator, too. I'm bringing this home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're so we're currently awesome. at the, the Hacker One office, which is so cool. Um, we had to take this private um, elevator up to just get here, and it's it's just sincerely amazing to be here. You can see all, all these people that are just working away and, and and creating new content. Then it's yeah, it's really really amazing, and it's, it's just great to be here. Here, this is the wall with all the really. <laughs> the famous elites that some of us like to call them or what it now is we you got you got Franz here of course you got Matthias, Pete, Arne, Geek Boy, Santiago, Mills, yeah, all the boys. <laughs> Epic. Yeah. Guys, say, say efficiency like 20 times. Efficiency! <laughs> so today is Friday and uh, we're gonna head over to the first target for the H1 415 live hacking event. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film there or if I'm allowed to disclose what the target is, so either you see some really cool b-roll of ours being there now or it'll just be at the after party. So, we are now in the Airbnb building and the events today is gonna be just that. It's gonna be Airbnb. And it's about, I think it's about 60 hackers that's gonna be on point for, for this one. And um, yeah, we're really, really excited. 
we see so now now it's time to get some breakfast scope opening and uh, yeah then all the hacking begins and guess what you're invited to the show so how has it been going so far decent I like decent. decent i like decent decent is a good thing yes we've been we've been smashing it we've been working on the bugs but right now we're in the down low area you know the area where you're not finding anything and you don't know if you should restart we can't build on anything new but you know that that's life right we'll see we'll see if we can figure it out I got one bug in, I think Smeagol's got a couple of one, you, Joe's got some. Johnny, have you been paid for yours? No, I'm uh, still waiting. I had two in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Show and tell is going to be great later. I heard there's going to be some account takeovers. That's going to be cool. But for now, back at the grind. So we're heading out to Alcatraz to see Alcatraz Island and, and the, the prison and everything that's going to be there. Hakawani is gently serving us breakfast because we're hackers. We sleep all day and eat burgers all night. Um, not just any burgers. Not just any burgers. It's, gonna, it's the infamous, well-known, renowned In-N-Out burgers. So yeah, <laughs> that's what we're getting. Animal style. <laughs> Animal style. Animal style. As a vegan, I'm not really stoked about. I'm not stoked about what they're getting, but yeah, it's their choice. Their poison. Um, but yeah, it's a. It's a really nice bunch of us that, that are going there, and we were in this H1. H1 4115 custom made swag for the event. And just like that, we ended up on the ferry, go leaving for Alcatraz. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to see. Uh, I don't know what to expect there. What do you guys expect happening in Alcatraz? Ghosts? <laughs> if we end up seeing ghosts at Alcatraz, it's going to be really cool. So let's look out for those. But one thing, sure, I need coffee, and I need coffee now. There is Alcatraz Island. And it's apparently extremely hard to get tickets to get on this island. So Hakuan apparently has pulled not one, but many strings to get us on there. And uh, yeah, excited at least to say, it's gonna be so cool. So one really cool thing here is the audio headphones things. Uh, you get this audio device when you get in and it's a fully augmented feeling because you put the headphones on and you walk through um, the hallways and the cell block of Alcatraz and and, and it's narrated so there's a storyline going on with audio visuals you feel like you're, oh, you're, you're there, you're back in time and it's super 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 cool if you ever get the chance to get to Alcatraz you should really try to do that and um, here's, wow, here's a garden. Alcatraz is a really cool place. I fell into the tourist trap and got myself a nice Alcatraz prison mug. So this is now called for. That's, that's how you do it with those. And Andre's got a harmonica. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> like a very close one. Mm -hmm. wow. Thanks Ian. Have fun. I love it. Thanks. So I just got told by Nemesis to sign into the um, the CTF the Hacker One CTF channel. So if you're not part of the Discord channel uh, on um, on Discord, right? Yeah, Discord. Um, you should get in there. It's super amazing. A lot of people that are in there and talking about 
it, you, you guys are sold in the CTF together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're helping people to, are yeah, you a mentor them as well? Yeah, for everyone that's like trying to get into hacking and yeah. you don't really understand what like XSS is, XTL injections, you can go through the level of the CTF and we help you solve them if you're not familiar with them. You can ping mods and like Cody who built the CTF, so we're all there to help you do you see, that's what it's all about. It's all about the community getting together and we're helping each other out. You can be a hacker too. I know I wasn't one in a, in a year ago. I actually had my one year bug anniversary yesterday. So, yeah, get on this. This is super, super fun. So, okay. Cody, uh, you've been running the CTF this weekend, right? How did it go? It went great. Uh, so we launched on Monday night, I think it was, yeah. um, when we hit the $46 million in bounty mark. and. We actually got to uh, got to see the hackers progressing through this thing and going up against some insane challenges. So they went through about 10 different steps to get through this thing and we got to watch every single one of those. Cool. What was really amazing about that, to be honest, was the just seeing the creativity that was there. I did not expect it to be solved this weekend. I said maybe we might get one, that, you know, maybe through the weekend sometime, possibly. It got solved Friday by somebody at this live event. <laughs> like that's, that's that so blows cool. my mind. And those guys were, uh, were you guys watching the logs the whole time? I was. I was the only. Per I'm the only person with access to the servers, except well, <laughs> now the hackers. But I've just been watching the logs constantly. Like I was in the air coming here, watching the logs for the CTF. Awesome. Well, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Great work, bro. Thank you. Uh, go CTF team. Yes. <laughs> so, what just happened is that Andre got paid 65k. That's 15k for for the yeah, crypto 50k bonus, which is pretty fucking insane. There we go. Dude, we're there so we fucking happy. There it is. Ah. 7k, dude. What about That's crazy. Yeah. What? Not happy? Oh, wait, wait, you see how was I last now? Yeah. I was literally three hours ago. I was like, hey man, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have it. I don't deserve to be here. Yeah. Okay. So, so what Dylan is saying that he's been, we all been hacking really hard. But to be honest, I've, I've done my best. I tried my best. I didn't find anything. I'm leaving San Francisco empty-handed. But that's the ebb and flow of bug bounties, and, and Donut, he has the same feeling. Oh, it's just like I spent, I spent all this time trying to hack, and it's like kind of hard when you have a full-time job as well, like Brett and I do yeah. have. And so, like, we get, we get home and we're tired, and it's like, oh, do we hack or do we like relax or spend time with loved ones and stuff like that? And when you have weekends, that's supposed to be your break from work, but then Absolutely. it kind of sometimes bug bounty feels like work. Especially yeah. when you're just doing like something really boring or repetitive or you just have no idea of what, on, like, what to look for. I agree, I agree. And it's just like, yeah, I put all my effort in the wrong places and I didn't turn anything up. And s some people had some really creative ideas and I just wasn't in the zone for it and it's just really disappointing. But that's bullshit. And you know it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hit me up tomorrow, I'll let you know how I'm feeling about it then. Today, I'm, I feel like a fraud, failure. That's the thing. We all do that. It happened to me, it happened to, to Donut, it has happened to all of it, and there's a lot of people. Like, I talked to Smiggles about it before, and he's like, that's life, bro. It just happens. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. And I think the ratio is something around one third of the people that go to these events don't submit any bugs. And it's that simple. But yeah, it sucks to be one of them that didn't do it. So just like Donna said, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm really, really sick.